Hello everyone, this is Gabriel with Insight Human Rights. I am here at Electoral Precinct 950, the Armenian parliamentary election. The reason I am is because I am a registered election observer. So I am here to help make sure that this election happens smoothly and, and that people's votes are properly counted. The reason this matters is that um, while you might not think election directly connected with human rights, it absolutely is. One of the most fundamental human rights is the right to self-determination. It's the second right listed in the key human rights documents. Well, how, is a peop how are we supposed to know what a people want, you know, their form of self-determination, unless they say it? There's always going to be some people that will be able to claim that they know what the people want, that they should just follow them, some big mouths. Ignore them. Through elections is how people actually say what they want, and it is the best process we have to develop that. I'm not saying it's perfect, um, and, uh, but it is the best that we got, and there are a number of threats. Here in Armenia, uh, democracy and elections are a, still a fairly new concept, and a lot of people don't see the value of that. So, unfortunately, if they see someone offering to buy their vote, they're going to see the value of that as greater than the value of voting for a particular candidate or party. So that's why I and many, many, many hundreds, actually, sorry, thousands of people are observing this election to make sure that there is a sense of trust that comes with the results. So if you'll just follow me, I'll show you what the inside looks like because as um, the electoral process, the electoral um, code allows us to record what's going on in the room, not in the booths, people, you know, there's still a right to privacy for voting, but in the room. So I'll show you in just a moment. Oh, over here is the voting list where everyone can find their name to see if they're registered. Walking in. People are waiting outside. Over here are the machines where people register. So they scan their ID cards and then check their fingerprints. And that's how we determine that they are who they are. Once that they, the machine certifies them, we move over here to the voting list. So the people look at the little slip of paper and give it to check it on the voting list. With the voting list there, they look up the person's name and then they'll sign it. And then there's a stamp uh, and then they'll also stamp it. The details of all this are actually really complicated. They wanted to, they revamped things to make it uh, hopefully more secure, but also quite complicated. So I won't go into the details, but you can see that he's signing right there. And then they're going to, the person on the other side, the worker is going to stamp it. And that's going to show that this person has voted. And that's going to be an important thing that later on, actually, the voters lists are released in Armenia. So people make sure that if they didn't vote, that their name's not on that list. Because otherwise, you know, someone else is voting under their name, which is a huge problem. So then, after that, they'll get an envelope with uh, nine ballots, one ballot for each uh, parliamentary, uh, each party or block, and then they can go behind the booths, you know, pick whichever ballot they want. Uh, Vartan. Um, and then, which, it's a little complicated, so people have some questions. And then here, they get a little stamp showing it's legit and then slide into the ballot box. And that's it, that's the process. So we've had, a, we're gonna have 1,500 people come through this um, precinct to do that exact process. And I'm gonna be here until the very end, and then we're gonna do, then after that, we're actually doing the counting, which again, I'll be here until then, because that's the only way to make sure that everything is correct from the beginning to the end. All right, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video, this little, um, inside view of an electoral process here in post-Soviet Armenia. All right, until then, uh, I'll see you later on Inside Human Rights.